7 million people in the world and most of them definitely are not in this place. 
makes you feel special, right? Out of the billions of people in, living on this earth, Joey and Cindy have asked you, you to join them as they enter. Sorry. <laughs> enter into an amazing institution of marriage. Please, at this time, put your cell phones on silent. Finding the one out of all people in the entire world should be impossible. But Joey and Cindy found each other. What are the chances? Yet, here we are, in front of their friends and family, making the impossible seem not impossible, but inevitable. Was it destiny or total dumb luck? Who cares? The important thing is it's happening. They are getting married today, right now. Joey, do you, Ronald Joseph Glover, take Chencia Marie Di Bernardo to be the one? The one you not only give love, respect, compassion to, but also allow yourself to receive the same from. I do. And do you, Cincia Marie DiMonardo, take Ronald Joseph Glover to be the one, the one you not only give love, respect, and compassion to, but also allow yourself to receive the same from. Do. May I please have the two rings? All right. This is a ring, and this is a ring. The one, one plus one equals two, right? These two individual rings are a grand symbol of the final numbers we are considering on this special day. Two rings create the very special bond of a husband and wife. Cindy and Joey have decided to say their vows. So I put it on my cell phone so I can remember it. I'll try to keep it short. Uh, before I do the vows, I would first like to thank my brother Frank. Uh, he was the one that, for lack of a better word, uh, introduced us and had the bright idea to get us to meet. Apparently he thought I needed to increase my already elevated blood pressure and you needed someone to kind of sweep you off your feet. Uh, now I'm still not sure of his intentions, or whether he thought it would be love at first sight and we would complete each other, or if he was thinking of the aggravation and psychological torture that we've both put him through over the years, uh, and finally found a way to get his revenge. But in all seriousness, I can't even begin to accurately describe how much you have changed my life for the better. I never thought there would be a reality where I would have a family and children of my own. I just didn't think it was possible that it was in the cards for me. You made that possible. And you have given me three of the greatest gifts a man could ever ask for. Um, three beautiful children that made me realize the true meaning of life. And you and our children have motivated me to be a better man. Without you and the children, I'm not sure how I could have survived the last couple of years. You helped me get through some of the darkest times in my life, and I love you all the more for it. Uh, I have one regret that pops up every now and then, and that is that I should have listened to my father four years ago and asked you to marry me then. Uh, because I knew mom and dad would want to be here. But, but even then, uh, I don't think I would have changed a thing. I mean, we all look back in life and have regrets and think of things we should have done or wish we could change, but I don't think I would change a thing because it all led me to you and our children. Uh, it's a cliche, but you complete, you complete me. You make me want to improve myself and be a better man. The, the love I have for you and our children cannot be put into words. Uh, I've never met a person that puts others before themselves more than you do. I've never met a person with a bigger heart. Uh, you're a great person, and I knew you'd make a great mother, and you are. 
I saw you go through the two most painful pregnancies I could ever imagine. Uh, not even able to lift your foot an inch high enough to walk into the house. The feet so swollen, I thought they were about to burst. And sleeping in a chair because it was the least painful way for you to try to sleep. Uh, but you always say you would do it again in a heartbeat. I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, I, I know you're going to be a great wife, and I find myself to be the luckiest man in the world that you chose me and that you agreed to be my wife. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, to spend the rest of my life taking care of you and the children, creating a home with warmth and love, and most important, sharing the treasure trove of great puns and dad jokes that I've stored in my head, <laughs> and making you laugh and embarrassing the children. <laughs> wait for laughter. <laughs> I've done some incredibly stupid things in my life and things I'm not proud of, but I've made a handful of great ones. And my greatest accomplishment in life is finding you. And I promise you, too, I will always be there for you. To be a rock you can lean on, a shoulder you can cry on, to lift you up when you are down, to have your back, and to just be there and listen when you need to talk. Without you and the children, I, I, I don't know where I'd be, and I vow to live my life for you. I love you. Well, I don't have a spot for a phone, so if everybody can just turn around for a quick second. I didn't think we were going the whole route that way, so it was more funny because that's how you are. So. Okay. Joey, I promise to always roll my eyes at your jokes. I promise to not watch the next episode without you. Or maybe pretend like I didn't. <laughs> I promise to love you when you're annoying me. Thank you for always supporting me, pushing me out of my comfort zone, calming me down and loving me. Thank you for being a loving, hands-on father and for changing those gross diapers. The math doesn't have to be done anymore, but it is for you. All right. Joey? Yep. Can you place that ring? Sandy. Okay. Looking at the two of you, I can tell your love for each other is grand. With that being said, I am gravely honored to finally pronounce Ronald and Chinsia, husband and wife. You, Joey, may kiss your bride. Turn and look at the crowd. I introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Glover.
<laughs> to go get some Chinese food, ensuring Jeff that he could cut his hair just fine. He could not cut his hair just fine. All right, one time he caught the living room on fire, trying to uh, have a realistic 18 scene. At Aaron Angela's wedding, he ate butter off of the table, thinking it was a snack, and then he did it again. Because he was quite sure. He would stay up at night uh, watching infomercials to find the absolute perfect Christmas gift for me. And I've got a list of some of these gifts a Snuggie. Hoodie footie. Oh yeah, the baby onesie for adults snapped in front. The ever popular shake weight. My favorite, the pink unicorn dance partner. Dog the bounty hunter biography. You know, you know I'm not crazy about a dog. A set of gorilla pajamas. So I'm sorry, Cindy, he's not very good at giving gifts, but he's giving you three really good ones up here. So, if everybody can...
Uncle Ronnie will probably be upset that it was scheduled during dancing. Um, but he'll be over pretty quick once he found out there was dinner and dancing. As far as advice that I could give you, Cindy, for Joey, uh, the biggest one, I would, don't let him cut the kids' hair. Was, uh, was, was but he has, a, he has a big part. There was um, one story whenever we were growing up, uh, been, uh, when big screen TVs first came out. Joey had the idea of getting mom and dad one for Christmas, and it was going to be from all of us. And this is when I was still younger, I didn't have a job. I, I gave a little bit, Frank gave some, but really the lion's share was just Joey. Basically did the whole thing, but it was all mom and dad do was it was from all of us. And uh, he never asked for credit or anything like that. He just has a super big heart. And I know he's, uh, he'll be a good husband. I know he's going to be a great dad to the kids. Um, as far as advice, I think dad would give you, he would, he would say good luck. Um, Uncle Ronnie would probably say, when are you coming to camp? Uh, <laughs> but I would say that I love you guys, and I wish you guys uh, nothing but happiness for your future. So, salut. Thank you, Jeff. Folks, to lead us in a blessing of our newlyweds, our evening, and of course, this amazing meal. Once again, Jeff. That's bad. That was me. I'm <laughs> So, uh, okay. Here we go. Everybody up. Bye, guys. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all here to witness the joining of Joey and Cindy. And please bless those that couldn't be here tonight. We ask that you watch over us, not only tonight, but for the rest of their lives. And please bless this young family uh, as they venture off in their future. Please bless Joey and Cindy, bless their beautiful children, and please bless the caterers. We hope you ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Very special daddy daughter dance.
beautiful daughter and wonderful wife. Good job, John. Very special dance with Joy. Surround.